beings begin to live life meditatively by living life meditatively meditatively means let each one of your action small or big be full of awareness not unconsciously robot like you are already born and death is still far away birth has already happened you can work on it more deeply as possible death has to happen is still it is is still in the imagination it is not yet reality to you and when you see someone die you never see death you see someone dying never the death death is something different than dying since birth has already happened journey of life is to begin you can start living as deeply as possible as meditatively as possible as intensely as possible full of awareness do not let any of your action robot like we do so many things small and big we are not aware of it like opening the door changing your clothes closing the door putting the things in place all these things should not be done none of these things should be done robot like explore each aspect of life as it comes meditatively a life lived and explored intensively is life of blessing remember at this stage whatsoever is known about death is just inference no one knows anything about death actually unless you can remember your past lives however there have been masters who have entered the phenomena of death fully aware of the process of dying however you cannot actually know anything about death you have died many times this is the reason that buddha had to revive many techniques after many techniques about remembering past lives because your death of this life is in the future so how can you concentrate on it how can you meditate on it it has not yet happened and it is very vague dark and unknown what can you do you can only think about it but that thinking will be borrowed you will be repeating what others have said someone had said something about death and you will be repeating it how can you meditate on death you can see others dying but that is not a real entry into it you are just an outsider it is just as if someone is eating a sweet dish you look at him but how can you feel what is happening to him its taste sweetness and fragrance that is happening to him what is going on in him you cannot know you can just look at his mouth his behavior or you can see the expression on his face but this is all inference not actual experience you cannot know what is happening to him unless you say something but unless he says something but whatsoever he says will be will be words to you and again not an experience buddha talked about his past deaths but no one believed him if i tell you something about my past deaths deep down you will not believe it how can you believe it you do not have any 
access to the reality of it. You are just closed at this birth because the moment you are born you forget all about previous life and death of this life has not yet come. It always happens to the other to others. It has not happened to you as yet. It is difficult to meditate on death. As a base, you will have to move into the past lives. You will have to go digging into the past memories. Buddha and Mahabir, they both use the technique of Jati Samran, the technique of going into the past lives. Only then you can meditate on death. Tantra is more scientific. It starts with life, with birth and with sex, which is a fact to you. Death is still a fiction. But remember, the end of both is the same. They both are in search of life eternal. Life which is deathless, beyond death. Either transcend the beginning or transcend the end. Either jump from one pole or from another. And remember, you can jump out of it only from one pole. You cannot jump from the middle. Suppose if I want to jump out of this room, either I have to move to this side, to the extreme, or to that side, to the extreme. I cannot jump from the middle of the room because jumping is possible only from the extreme pole. And there are two extreme poles in life, birth and death. Tantra starts from birth. It is more scientific, more real. You are already in it. You can meditate upon it. Sex is a fact. So you can meditate upon it. You can move deeply within it. Enter into it meditatively more intensely, not robot-like, full of awareness. Death is not yet a fact. When you enter into sex or any act meditatively, more intensely, full of awareness, rather than robot-like, you will experience moments of dissolution when the two dissolve into one another or you dissolve into the existence and that is the experience of death that can come to you while living the life totally meditatively as intense as possible. Death is not a fact. A very rare mind is needed to conceive of death. A very keen intellect is needed to penetrate into the future. Rarely it happens that a Buddha will conceive of death so deeply that the future becomes the present, but it is always for the rare individual. Tantra can be used by anyone who has any interest or any desire to search in order to know what real life is. But Tantra also uses death just to help you to move inwards, not for you to meditate on it, not for you to jump out of it, but to help you move inwards. Buddha had talked about birth just to make it a part of the meditation on death. The other part can be used as a help. But it is not the center. Tantra says, if you can think about death, your life will take a different meaning, shape and significance. Your mind will start thinking in new dimensions, which 
without death would be difficult or even impossible. The moment you begin to feel that this life is going to end in death, death becomes a certainty and you cannot cling to this life. Mind starts moving beyond. If you think about just this life, your mind will go on, go outwards. It will go out to the objects. If you begin to look and see death is hidden everywhere, in you begin everything, whatever you begin, it comes to an end. There is a beginning, there is an end. Buddha is talking about that end. You begin to look and see that death is hidden everywhere. You start cooking a dish. It is birth, it's a beginning. Then the end comes in. You start the act of sex. There is a beginning. This is the birth of that act at that particular moment. And then the end comes in, the dissolution comes in. If you enter into it intensely, meditatively, then you will get a glimpse of dissolution and through that you get the glimpse of death. Death is too much. It is impossible to live with. It can become a turning point. You can become aware of death, says Tantra. Use it as a turning inwards. No need to go into the details about death. No need to go on, on contemplating about it. Do not make it an obsession. Just the awareness that whatever it has a beginning, must have an end. An end is hidden deep within the beginning and that understanding gives you a deeper meaning and experience. Just the awareness that death is there will help you to move inwards and be meditative in whatsoever you do. Enough for now.